Hello, this is Michael at my Crooked Road Homestead. Hope everyone's getting along all right today. Well, it's a nice fall morning. It's beautiful out. Loving it. But this is going to be part one on my pellet stuff. I finally got started on it. But this is going to be part one. And I got my tank. As you can see I got it all cleaned up and everything. And uh, still don't have my tubes built for my riser tube and all that yet. But this is part one. But what I did was, you can see around here, I've got these these pieces of angle here with bolts through them. I got four of them. And what I'm going to do is, that's way I can lift this tank off so I can clean the inside of it. Uh, I want it want to be able to get get to the inside to the riser tube and everything. But anyway, this is, this is going to be, it's a lot smaller than my last one. My, my last one was, was, uh, 16 inches around. And this one's only 12 inches around. So it's making a whole lot of difference. It's going to make a lot of difference. And I think it's going to, I think it's going to burn as good, if not better than the last one did. The last one did awesome. I just, uh, I love to build these rocket stoves, so that's why I'm doing this. Really, you just want to know the truth about it. But anyway, this is going to be the part one on it. And uh, that's what I've gotten done on it so far. And there's my riser tube right there. I don't have the other piece cut yet that's coming out. But uh, I'll have it here in a couple of days. I'll do you i'm gonna it's probably gonna be a three-part deal by the time i get it all built and everything get it back in and show you that it, show you that it's burning and give you some maybe give you some be able to give you some temperatures on it kind of heat that it's putting out and everything but that's where i'm at on it so i'm real happy with it well, I got you here, I might as well go out and feed these chicks this morning. And by the way, my chickens have started laying finally again. They've started laying, even the young ones. Uh, last Wednesday, I got my first 10 eggs out of them. And, you know, I've only got nine new chicks and then the one old chick, but I had ten eggs when I went out to check them, so all ten of these birds are laying now. So I'm real happy about that. They're not laying consistent yet, but they will. We'll go around here and throw them a little feed. See, I got a chicken out. See her out there? They get out, and I'm afraid that... Hello, girls. Here you go. Here you go. But, uh, come on, girl. You know you're not supposed to be out here. Come on. Add a girl. Come on. Usually I can get them to go right back here when I open this gate up. We'll open it up and see if she'll go in. You girls get on back. Get on back. Go on. You know better. Good morning, girls. Go on. And get on over there. Go see if I can find this other chicken. If I don't watch them, they'll all be out. Rabbits are all doing good. This rabbit right here, I've rebred her. I'm going to walk around here and see where this chicken went. 
I don't, I really wouldn't mind them. Go on, girl. There she goes. She'll go right on around now. But, the only reason I'm keeping them in this pen is so they don't all get eat up. You girls, get on back in there. Go on. Go on in. Go. Get in there. Go on. There. Now yeah, they all went in. You girls know better. But anyway, they're, uh, they're all doing real good. They, they just like to squawk, you know. That one hen that comes up to me, she likes to be petted sometimes. I'll get out here. And they're digging holes. Yeah, get that. That's hot. Try it. You'll like it. A cigarette burnt your mouth, didn't it? Tried to pick it up. <laughs> but, well, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here. My pastor, I've been out. Hopefully, this is the last time I'm going to have to mow it, I'm hoping. But, anyway, I'm going to get off here. But, as I always say, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share it with others. And have a good day. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.